Oh my god, oh my god, oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe King Carole and Dark Samus and Belmont's gonna be in Smash Bros. Ultimate. Anyways, what's going on with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, and talking to you, the one is Nintendo Sonic 2011, aka Manny Wolverine. You guys are interested in interest on your channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all this shit. Holy fucking god! King Carole, Dark Samus. So fucking hype for this shit. Oh my god, I knew no. More, no normally, I don't post videos on Wednesday or Thursday because I'm doing a shit ton of errands. I'm from The Verge, I heard from this one and Dual Shockers on their Twitter account. Shout out to Adam Wester. Let's get into this freaking thing because I already saw the trailer. I am mind blown the fuck away in a good way. So it says Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. This one, The Verge and Dual Shock, is where I heard it from. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is getting a little bit more gothic. Today, Nintendo announced that the additional new characters, longtime Castlevania protagonist Simon Belmont, is joining the cast of the fighters. Holy freaking God, that's wild. Daddy Sucker, I know Etika and the other dude Rogers base probably losing a shit out of their damn minds. <laughs> no matter of fact, I actually saw him last week here in Vegas. I was partying with them at the Rio and shit. I'll tell, we're not allowed to bring cameras though, so I couldn't record it. <laughs> the Vampire Hunter features a brand new look for the game, though he retains his iconic whip as a weapon. Alongside the Vampire, Nintendo also revealed that King Karul from the Donkey Kong Country series will be a new game. The new game. There are a few details on the fighter. As for Belmont, he is bringing a new stage with him. Naturally, he'll be fighting Dracula's castle, complete with Castlevania bosses and candlesticks that give out items. There will also be hefty 34 tracks for the <coughs> series history in a Switch fighter. And Alcolard, Alcolard, I'm not going to say Aculard, will appear in the assist trophies. Nintendo will also reveal the new has also revealed the new Echo Fighter, slightly different from the existing fighters. And the dark, warm and dark Samus, Richard Belmont, crown from the Fire Emblem series, he's finally in there. He wasn't in the one for Wii U, so that's great. According to Nintendo, the game will feature 103 different stages, which is much higher than any game in the series history. Each game will be playable from the beginning, so you won't have to unlock them. There will also be secret trophies on a character Shovel Knight and Monster Hunter. Oh, cool, I didn't know that. I missed that part out because I was sleeping when this shit was going on. Ultimate will also have a feature emphasis on the music. Here's all the details for Nintendo. For fans <clears throat> that want it, hopefully I have to do a two-parter in this. My music will let excuse me. My music will let players select a specific music track for each stage. Up until now, each stage has its own music track, but in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate players can select by tracks by new series. If they are fighting on a stage, The Legend of Zelda, for example, they can select any of the music tracks included that from that franchise, including for a new additional Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild main theme, counting main themes on the tracks like other music, like in-game menus and other short passages. There are approximately 900 compositions. Hot damn Christ, dude. I didn't even know that was a thing. Also, I'm doing this on Wednesday because I think Friday and Saturday are supposed to be raining. I might not be able to do videos on because thunderstorms are a fucking issue. That may be more than 28 hours of video game history. Music. When playing in a handheld mode, this music can be even while Nintendo Switch screen is turned off. Turning the system into its own portable music player. The news was first teased over the weekend just before Super Smash Bros. Melee. Oh, I remember that. That's old school. Eevee Philos. We're at the game, or the fighting game tournament at Evil 2018, which I, funny enough, I talked about yesterday. When Nintendo revealed the ultimate theme, Nintendo Direct would be out today. And the new Switch Fighters were unveiled back in June at E3 in Los Angeles. Oh, the whole E3 thing, I remember that. It was the, one of the biggest entries long time running series, including every single character fighting your Smash Bros. for more than 60 fighters, in addition to the classic characters, are now new additions like Metroid Ridley and Splatoon Inklings. A game of this extensive has <clears throat> this extensive has proved a daunting task for developers. He says, quote, I speak for the dust of my heart when I say it is okay of work. Series director Masahiro Sakurai. <laughs> yeah, fucking daddy Sakurai. He's a freaking god when it comes to this game. It's awesome. I told The Verge in June that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is coming to the Nintendo Switch on December 7th. If you missed today's Nintendo Direct, you can watch it all here. All right, so there goes a couple of tweets right there. I'm not going to read them, but <laughs> this is where I lost my shit when I was watching the thing. Not in the morning. I saw it in the afternoon after I got out of work. <laughs> oh, man, I had to do a fucking video of this. And this, this is more of a smaller article here from Dual Shockers. 
So it says Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and get new figurines. I didn't hear about the Amigo figurine part. Simon Belmont, Richard. I never really played a lot of Castlevania growing up, but I remember a lot of my cousins did, but I didn't get the chance to because there was a lot of blood and gore and shit, so unfortunately I couldn't play it. Dark Samus. So shout out to Ryan Maletzer. Maletzer, however you say his last name. As one of the most anticipated Switch games for this year, Smash Bros. Ultimate is bringing players a complete package of almost everything that the series has offered yet in the past 20 years. And alongside some including new characters will be revealed as <clears throat> we'll be getting some new Amiibo figurines with them. Following today's Nintendo Directs dedicated to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Nintendo announcement that a new line of Amiibo figurines will be coming to the five new characters that were also announced in the Super Smash Bros. Castlevania Sam Boma and the Echo Fighter Richard, Donkey Kong's own K.K. Rool, that one in Dark Sam is the one I'm super hyped about, and Fire Emblem's Kron. No specific details or images were just released yet and what the new figurines will look like, other than Nintendo stating that it will release in quote in the future, unquote. While we don't while we don't have any exact time frame yet, they will be in stores. Fans and these long awaited characters will at last at least, excuse me, get their chance to have their them in a physical miniature form. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate will release a Nintendo Switch on December seventh. If you haven't picked it up a copy of it already in the game, you can Excuse me, head over to Amazon and pre order the game right now before the end of this holiday season. Or excuse me, or it's released in the holiday season. I fucked up in the typos. There's that's Super Smash Bros. hype for Nintendo of Europe. The Amiibo has five five newly announced Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighters Simon Belmont. Da, 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 da. You already heard that part. <laughs> wow. That is wild as shit, man. Overall thoughts, news, and opinions. Oh my god, they put every single costume for freaking King Karoo. Look at that. Oh my god, I'm so fucking hyped for this game. Oh, why can't this come out? No. Oh, I want it so fucking bad. <laughs> Christ, man. And this is a real tweet here? I'm going to go click on it and see if this is real. This has to be 110% real. We're doing this shit live, baby. Hell freaking yes. Let's fucking go. Christ almighty, dude. Nintendo versus. Alright, so I thought it was from Nintendo of Europe and Nintendo America that did the post for the tweets. Or maybe I'm screwing up there, but look at that freaking design. Oh my god, he has the one from part two. They should have gave him the one in part three when he's like King K. Karolstein. Is that really him? <laughs> oh my god, if you can't tell I'm fanboying so fucking hard. I've been wanting this shit for the longest fucking time. Oh my god. Now, if only Crash Spyro and Goku get in this, and I could be complete, but I highly doubt that's going to happen. But if it does, that will be a fucking mind blow. And that's it. That's all i got to say for now. He does the little belly thing. I remember in the trailer, he throws his crown like he did the first game. Oh, my God. I'm hitting a, so many nostalgia feels. Sakurai, he got so many brownie points with me today. Freaking ridiculous. And that's it. Links to the trailer and description box down below. And um, articles, both of them down below. The ones I just read, and I'm out of here. Peace hells out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls. And of course, as always, I'll talk as Nikki Kamoi's out there. We'll see you next week. Have a good night wherever you are around the universe out there. Don't drink sport with at the same time. Don't take the reckless. Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it chill, keep it locked out there. Stay tuned more future articles, that's your interviews, including um, video gaming industry news, anime manga news, internet news. Once September comes around the corner, more outdoor chat and breeze vlog video contents I will do next month. And that's it. Um, Take it easy. Peace out. I am out like Sauerkraut. Stay safe. Ladies and goodbye. We'll see you on the flip side. Holy shit. <laughs> For all my Castlevania fans, you must be really, really happy to jump down your seat because I got this along with the Netflix series for the anime coming out too. Damn, it's good to be a gamer this year. 2018 is the best year for gaming and anime. See ya.